Hey everyone, welcome back to Gridless, where we're making the choosing the right air conditioner easy and fun. In this video, we're gonna be talking about the difference between inverter and non-inverter air conditioning technology. So my name is Jesse, I'm the owner of Gridless, and we help connect you with the best contractors in Victoria and New South Wales to get your air conditioning installed, and we help connect you to rebates as well. So if you're looking for help with that, please visit gridless.com, we'd love to help you out. So what is an inverter air conditioner? So let's start off with that. An inverter air conditioner uses advanced technology to control the speed of the motor. Instead of turning it on and off repeatedly when you reach the desired temperature, they adjust the motor speed of the compressor. So if you think of the fan outside, that's the uh, compressor. It adjusts the speed of that to keep your room at a consistent temperature. So another advantage to consistent temperature is the fact that it is very energy efficient to use inverters. That They're much more energy efficient than their non-inverter cousins. So how does a non-inverter AC work? In contrast, a non-inverter AC operates at a fixed speed. The compressor turns on and then off to maintain the desired temperature, but it can't go at separate fan speeds. And I'll show you a graph of what that looks like. So this is an inverter graph, but a non-inverter graph. And you can see that the inverter is more smooth and you save energy, but the non-inverter AC, it is jagged and that will cause you to lose energy due to these large fluctuations. And what it will feel like in your home is that it'll be, uh, so let's say it's a very hot day, it's a summer's day, and you wanna to get to 20 degrees. The fan will usually overshoot 20 degrees and it'll get to 18 degrees, and then it'll go in the other direction, and then it'll go in the other direction, and then it'll go in the other direction, but it won't have the ability to really fine tune to the right temperature that you want. So let's go over the key differences between inverter and non-inverter ACs. So first, energy efficiency. Inverter ACs can save you 30 to 50% on your energy costs. It's a no-brainer to get an inverter air conditioning model. Second is noise level. Inverter systems are much less noisy than their non-inverter brethren. Finally, there's temperature control. With non-inverters, you will feel too warm or too cold, whereas with inverters, you keep the temperature much more consistent. So all around, it's a better experience. So now let's talk about cost. Upfront, inverter ACs typically cost a little bit more, but they'll definitely save you money over that time with low energy bills. So we recommend inverter ACs in pretty much all cases, and pretty much the only uh, ACs that you'll find under the Victorian Energy Upgrade Scheme will be inverter ACs. If you're looking for an AC, we can definitely help you out. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and like if you're new. If you have any other questions that you'd like me to cover, please let me know. Bye.